My name is Melvin Walls III. I'm a psychological research assistant and program coordinator for New Haven Prevention Council at the Consultation Center at Yale. I am testifying today uh, to ask for support on the proposed budget, which supports the Governor's Prevention Partnership through the Department of Mental Health and Addiction Services. As a program coordinator for New Haven Prevention Council and working in partnership with various other prevention organizations in Connecticut's prevention landscape, I can honestly say that there is a tremendous amount of excellent prevention work happening around the state. And in that same breath, there's still youth out there that need our work and, are more, and there are more youth that we are yet to touch. I'm advocating for the funding of alcohol and substance, use, and substance abuse prevention programs for youth in Connecticut. I'm doing this for the same reason that I work with New Haven Prevention Council, to be the change I wish to see and to inspire others to do the same. One of our initiatives for New Haven Prevention Council is the One Step Program, which currently resides in Wilbur Cross and calls Wilbur Cross home. In the One Step Program, the One Step Program is oriented around getting our youth involved, healthy, and connected, while reminding the youth that one step towards these goals every single day is excellent progress. Along with this, we do a great amount of substance use education, connecting youth to resources and help, and in getting them involved in their community. Amidst a society and community that seems to be under attack by temptation and influence of substance use, in many cases, One Step and New Haven Prevention Council is the only roadblock provided to these youth. I know this from personal experience from attending a New Haven public school as a student. From my experience, while in school before New Haven Prevention Council, I witnessed violence no youth should see. I've lost peers and friends to substance use and pointless violence more than any person before the age of 18 should endure. And because of this lived experience, I can't allow any youth to endure the same path. And prevention is the answer to how. Our prevention work isn't simply keeping vapes and liquor bottles out of the youth of hands, out of the hands of youth. Since preventing, since preventing substance use is a complex goal, Prevention organizations around the state have been identifying their community's needs and providing it to the best of their ability. We are fortunate to work with the Governor's Prevention Partnership to help amplify our message of prevention throughout the New Haven area. Members of the One Step Program sit on the Youth Advisory Board, a DEMAS funded initiative. As the future arrives quickly, it brings, it brings with it a new wave of challenges and opportunities. This is true for our youth as well. And prevention organizations around the state are ready and willing to help our youth navigate the proverbial minefield that we know is life. And for that to continue, we all need to take one step towards being what we need, the, being the change that we need, and being the change that we want to see in our community. Please summarize. Thank, thank you. Thank you for your support regarding this issue. And I hope that your continued support of Governor's Prevention Partnership and New Haven Prevention Council help us connect with more youth.